Presidential Commission on Music, the Permanent Presidential Commission, Music Commission, we've made a, a policy decision as government that we are now going to change it to the Creative Commission of Kenya. And we are fashioning the law so that we, we are already working on a creative bill that is going to make sure that the Creative Commission will not only have professional studios in Nairobi, but in every county in Kenya. <laughs> working with the county governments so that we can give opportunity to every uh, artist, whether they are in primary school, whether they are in secondary school, to explore the opportunities that are there for them to be able to professionalize the art that they are gifted with. And let me say that uh, I have given Ababu Namamba and Tim a maximum of two months to make sure that the bill finds its way to parliament, and I am happy members of parliament are here, both at the uh, national and at the county level, that we fast track this bill so that we can build the right space for us to monetize this great talent. Over the last one year, I have discussed with the owners of social media platforms, from Facebook to um, Twitter to TikTok, including YouTube, and we have progressed our conversation. And I'm happy to say that two of them have finally agreed to monetize content in Kenya. YouTube, for example, we, now are, we are now at 80% uh, monetization. We are one of the four countries in the African continent that we can now monetize our content in YouTube. I want this digitization I have talked about, about our talent here, that KICD should have a YouTube channel and we should be able to sell that content of our children to parents and to others who want to watch this beautiful um, display of talent. I am happy again to report that Twitter has also agreed among the first countries in Kenya to also monetize our content. Tomorrow morning, I will be speaking to the global CEO of TikTok. I know we've had a conversation as a country around TikTok and uh, some of the challenges that are in that space. And like we have moderation capacities of uh, the other platforms, YouTube and Twitter, tomorrow morning we are having that conversation with the global um, CEO of TikTok so that we can agree on a mechanism to moderate content in their space so that we can reduce the content that is negative and leverage on the monetization that is benefiting a lot more people. Let me also say I did have a conversation with Facebook last year and they have now agreed to test with 25 of our creators beginning this month so that they can also unlock the potential of monetizing content in that space. As I say all that, people are asked, may be asking themselves, what is the quantum? Let me tell you that every month, Kenya is getting between 300 million and 500 million every month from these platforms. So we are increasing our revenues as a country from this space. We need to manage the negative effects, but we need to promote 
the positive effects that are making our artists, content creators, and many other people in that space to um, explore opportunities, make money, and grow their talents. Uh, I was looking at one of the best paying um, content creator is now at seven million shillings every month. And one of the largest digital TVs is already up and running. We already have 15 digital TVs. And um, that space is expanding. So again, there is opportunity for our young people. And the display of talent here just confirms what else we can do as a country to promote our economy, especially the creative um, economy. Therefore, KICD, I am looking forward to you reporting to me how much money you have made from all this content, and then I will tell you how we are going to share that money <laughs> between those who have done it and everybody else, and uh, maybe in the near future, we will not be looking for money from the exchequer to host this great talent. It should be able to run itself because we have what it takes to make it run on itself. <clears throat> um, so I am truly happy that uh, we are moving this process in this direction. Uh, let me also uh, say that um, On the subject of teachers, I know we have uh, a wonderful teaching force in Kenya. Um, we have all moved uh, to the next level. I know there are discussions between uh, the Teacher Service Commission and the teacher representatives. I want to ask them to expedite the negotiations because government of Kenya has provided the resources for teachers to enhance their pay uh, packages. So if we can conclude the negotiations so that teachers can go forward and benefit from the resources that we have made available. I also want to ask all the other stakeholders to make it easy and um, faster for us to find agreement uh, so that we can move forward together as a nation. So I am truly grateful to all of you who have uh, participated. You have worked very hard. I know that uh, it's not easy always to uh, organize such a big meeting, big event, 130,000 people. I saw First Lady calculating in her mind how 130,000 people look like. That's, that's quite, uh, she was, <laughs> because 130,000 people is quite, uh, quite a feat. I'm even surprised that uh, Frederick is saying we should increase to 230,000 people, uh, 60,000. That, that's quite momentous. Um, what I think we need to agree on is uh, Waziri to try and see how more of the children with special needs can also be part of this festival. We need to celebrate them and we need to make sure that they too join the celebration of our culture, the celebration of our talent, and be able to take uh, the country forward. Finally, let me also say that um, this is not a celebration, this is not just a celebration of talent, it's also a celebration of our, of our culture. I see through this talent a celebration of who we are as a country a celebration of our diversity. And this is as it should be. This is a Kenya that we all must be proud of. And I am very happy that we are making steps, we are making progress for the benefit of us as a Kenyan society, working together, building back better together as a country, and we're all united in this uh, trajectory. So, sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo, mimi nimefurai sana kuungana na nyinyi. Na amini nitapata nafasi pengine badae kuongea na wale ambao wametusaidia 
kuandaa eh, kongamano hili ambalo limejumuisha watoto wetu wengi wanaosoma katika mashule zetu, colleges na university ili kuwapa motisha ya vile tunaweza kusonga mbele kwa pamoja. Um, kwa walimu wetu eh, mimi nataka niwashukuru sana walimu wetu ndio wamechangia sehemu kubwa ya kupanga hawa watoto kuwasomesha, kuandika scripts na eh, kuwatayarisha katika hali mbalimbali mbali, ndio tuweze kufika hapa. Na ndio nimesema ya kwamba kati ya promotions ambazo tutakuwa nazo ni za wale walimu wamejitolea katika kupanga na kusimamisha eh, kusimamia um, eh, 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 music ama wimbo hizi na eh, skits mbalimbali nataka niwaambie pongezi sana um, vile 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 nimesema tunatengeneza sheria ndio tuweze kuwa na eh, creative commission tubadilisha ili ilikuwa hapo mbele ndio tuweze kupanga vile tunaweza kupeleka mbele mambo haya yote. Kwa hivyo wacha nimalizie kwa kusema asante sana na Kuru County kwa kutu uh, shughulikia by hosting us here. We want to say thank you very much to the great people of Nakuru County na watoto wetu wote mtakaburuti nyumbani mupeleke salamu zetu kwa wazazi wenu kwa county zenu na mjue tunawapenda sana na tutashughulika na kazi ya kupanga siku zijazo ya maisha yenu kila mwanafunzi afanye bidii na mimi nataka niwaulize wa, wanafunzi wazazi walimu na stakeholders wale wengine wote hawa watoto wetu tuwakinge na madhara ya madawa ya kulevya matatizo yale mengine yapo huko influences morality eh, negative mimi nataka niwaulize sote as a Kenyan society let us not point fingers at one another we need to work to work together in concert we need to work together in synergy to protect our children from negative influences and to make sure that we give our children the very best let me also encourage counties one of the decisions that we made ni kwamba mwaka huu kwa sababu hatutaki mtoto wetu hata mmoja abaki nyuma mbali na kuongeza walimu mbali na kupanga mambo ya scholarship ya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna transition ya sawa sawa pia mwaka huu tunaongeza pesa kutoka karibu shilingi bilioni mbili mpaka bilioni tano ya kusaidia katika school feeding program ili watoto wetu hasa wanaoishi difficult circumstances katika taifa letu la Kenya waweze kwenda shuleni wapate chakula shuleni so that we can increase our enrollment and increase our retention of children in our schools so we are focused on ensuring that kids in our areas and i want to thank many county governments who are working with us in partnership on the school feeding program to ensure that no child is left behind and that every child is in school even in the difficult circumstances whether it is climate change or all the other issues we have to ensure that none of our children is left behind and ensure that all our children are in class so that we can prepare them for their future asante sana na wapenda sana na mungu wabariki Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Come on, let's give him another round.